so today we will see some interesting topic parcels so first of all we should know what you mean by parcel so in any town planning we will be like creating lots of sites so each site will be having lots of plots in it so that plot we can able to use for residential and commercial purposes see for example here we have some uh, point groups and based on the point group we also have a surface so on top of the surface we are going to create a one site so for that we can able to use some autocad entities so lines and we can able to use arc and everything so after we are just going to convert this into parcels so parcel is something like a defined boundary which is having some length width and then some measurements we can able to call this as chainage and it is also having a area so each parcel we can able to say having some certain area so some parcels could be bigger some parcels could be smaller so in other term we can able to say parcel is nothing it's it's called a plot so plots we can call plots similar to parcel so now we will see how to create parcel in the civil 3d see this is like an example file from autodesk itself i just opened it so you can able to find this in this path c program files autodesk as shown in the window so after opening it we can make use of it to create our parcels so for that i am just going here parcel parcel creation tools so here in parcel creation tool we can able to make use of all those to make our parcel okay now i am just going to create some parcel before that we should select for example select this select this lines and then go to home and then parcel and then we have a dedicated option for create parcel from objects so objects could be lines arcs or polylines so click that and then it will be like uh, asking some information so in this window you can able to name the site so it is by default taking site 1 and we can able to choose the parcel style we have this kind of styles and we can able to create or edit our styles and we can able to go for layers by clicking uh, this icons and we can also go for area label this is going to have only the parcel number later we can able to make use of perimeter and area as well okay now i am just going for click okay so this parcel creation is simple as that so just select everything and then choose that option it will create you the parcel maybe sometimes you know you will be having like a different numbers see one is here two is here like that so if you want to make in a specified order or you want to make with the starting number of 101 like that we have an option you just select some parcel and after selecting the parcel in top ribbon you know the green window will be activated in this green window we can able to select modify tools in modify tools we can able to go for renumber or rename so just to select it and you can able to select the site from here and then we can able to start the number from 101 and incremental value how much you need so 101 plus 1 102 uh, then 103 like that i am just going to click ok and after clicking ok we can able to see in the command bar it is asking for start point so i can just uh, click the start point here and then the end point here so like this you need to put the start and end points and you put enter once you put enter and you put enter again the command will be executed see now we have 101 102 103 104 105 see these tools were very easy and it's very user friendly and it's easy to use so again i am going to create for this so we have a one closed entity and also in between some lines otherwise i am just going to make only this and after we will use these lines so for that parcel from objects so just click ok now we have only one parcel right we can make this puzzles into different so for that i am just going for puzzle creation tools and here we can just go for this line and then click ok and then you can go for o snap so you will get the end screen see just uh, when you drawing the line we are splitting the parcel So just uh, 
so you should put enter and again you should click again for the next one so now i'm just taking all these things and you can just put j enter for joining it then it will become a closed entity then we can just go for create parcels from objects so select it and then enter so click ok so we will be having one parcel but this parcel having some space so that's why we are not getting the label see now it should be like a closed entity then only we can able to label it otherwise it, it won't consider as a parcel now I am just going for parcel creation tools and uh, here I am just going for this method. So slide line method, slide line edit method, swing line create method like that. Or we can just go for freeform create. See I am just going for freeform create now. So click OK and we can able to just uh, place over here and then OK again for the next point. So in the same command no need to escape and go out of the command we can able to create. See this kind of easy methods we have in these tools and once you completed you can exit. So now I am just going to draw some uh, AutoCAD entity. Now we will try without joining it parcel from objects so select everything and then you put enter and then you click ok see now we have created one parcel without joining also we can able to create it and when you are creating there will be one option for erase entity so the the previous lines will be erased and we will be having parcel but still it is like a unattached so if you want you can just go for j enter now also but for j enter command only for lines this line we can't able to join okay then we will just go for parcel creation tools and if you want some uh, something to change over here we can change see for example when i'm putting in minimum frontage we are getting the preview this is what the minimum frontage and minimum area this is what the area and minimum frontage at offset this is what the offset we have and if you are putting yes otherwise no so frontage offset here we have 115 uh, so this one minimum width and minimum depth maximum depth and then the maximum depth how much you want and multiple solution preferences see here we can able to choose shortest frontage or use smallest area the smallest area is like this and shortest frontage is this one see this is like for shortest frontage and for smallest area this is what the smallest area so like that so I'm just going with the smallest area now and automatic mode it is like off otherwise if you're putting on it will automatically comes so you can switch off it and place reminder in last parcel or create parcel from reminder or uh, we can redistribute the reminder you see if you have any so best method is to redistribute reminder so I'm just choosing that now I'm just going for slide line create method and then go for ok and then select the parcel so it is asking for select start point on frontage see I am just selecting this frontage see and then this yellow uh, color uh, line it will be coming to specify the endpoint also so I am clicking like this so this became our frontage for this plot okay now I am just going to put enter see it is automatically like uh, showing the preview if you okay with that you put yes and then it will go to the next one yes and then enter so totally we have created three parcel out of this big site okay again also if you can able to use some other methods over there so now i'm just going to delete everything so with this one parcel i'm just going to create another method so swing line create method so click ok select the parcel start frontage see sometimes it is going like this in that case you can just go in a reverse order 
So you put enter and it is asking for swing point. See, now based on the point, we are getting the plot. If you want, you can put yes. And then next point it is asking. See, now we have got. Now we have some option over here, parcel union. You select that and it is asking for select the destination parcel. So for example, I'm just selecting this as destination parcel. Now select the parcel and enter. Now I'm just selecting and then put enter and then exit. Now all become one parcel. See, now we can just delete this line. So that is called like a parcel union. So we can also just go for dissolve parcel union. So select this, select from the layout tools. So then we can just go for drawing some lines. So select some point and then some point and you put enter. And then again, you can just uh, select uh, some other point and then enter. Once you put enter only, it will accept. And I'm just going to use a curve also. For example, see, now we can able to make use of the curve also. Then we are getting two parcel accordingly. So like this, we can able to use this parcel layout tools. And we also have undo redo option. So undo. So once you select parcel, we are also getting this green window open where we can able to just go for parcel property, edit parcel style and everything. And I'm just going for parcel property. And here we can just go for parcel number or a, a standard. So once you click standard, we can able to see the property and the number and also the area. So this thing we can able to uh, get from here. Information, design, section. So if you want parcel area fill also, you can switch it on. See, we are also getting the parcel area fill. So that from the display we can able to get. And if you want to change the pattern. So custom, if you want a predefined. For example, I'm just going for cross. Click OK and then apply. See, like this we can able to customize our parcels. And we can just go for edit geometry, edit elevation, multiple parcel properties. So multiple parcel property. And we can just go for polyline if you want. Uh, we, but we don't have any polyline. But then you put enter. We can just uh, draw a line like this and put enter. So once you put enter, we can able to just go for parcel number or a name, square, meter and acres. And we can just go for property value and all those things, which number you want to start with and click OK. So now we have parcels in this layout. Now, if you want to have some tables, you can have. So just uh, click some parcel and after clicking, you can able to see the green window. In this green window, you can just go for labels and tables. And here we can just go for which table you want, uh, lines table, curves table, segments table or area table. So I am just going for area table. So it includes the parcel perimeter and also the area. So after clicking that you will be available with this window and here there is an option for no parcel selected. You can just click it. And after clicking it, you can just uh, select the parcels you want. For example, I, I need only the parcels over in this area. So I just selected only that portion and put enter. So totally 14 parcels selected. Now, what are all the labels you want? So I'm just going for name, area and perimeter. Or uh, we can just go for name, square, meter and acres. So like that. Otherwise, we can just go for standard. Now I'm just going for click OK. And we can able to put somewhere by using the mouse click. See, once you click, we can able to see. So parcel area table. So each parcel having this much area, this much perimeter and the segment lens and also the bearings. So everything it is coming. So in this table. So if you click the table, then we can able to modify the table properties. And here I'm just going for table style. 
and uh, data properties display so title area fill if you want you can just go for and apply and then okay see like this if you want some more styles you can able to go for see now we have title area fill so like this we will be having the table and also we have another uh, uh, tool create right of way so for alignments we can able to make use of this so we will have one parcel like this so in this i am just going for some alignment so we should select the site now i am just going to draw my alignment okay okay when you are drawing an alignment it is just splitting the parcels so now we can just go for create right of way and we should select the parcels so now once you put enter it will be ask you to enter the values and we can able to take the default value as of now and click okay see now we are getting a in between one path see i'm just going to like uh, change the parcel property parcel area fill i'm switching off click okay see now we have got a separate parcel this one a separate parcel and it is also having this kind of fillet options 